everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Giga Texas. It is Monday, the 25th of March. That means this is the last week of the first quarter for 2024. It's hard to believe. And I know that Tesla is hard at work trying to get a lot of the vehicles out to as many customers as possible. So we'll see how all that shakes out with the end of this week. Now today we had some uh, thunderstorms and rains come through the area. So it uh, disrupted a little bit of my drone flying and I had to uh, stop flying for about uh, 40 minutes and then resume. So you'll probably see a little bit of changes within the video. Now a few things that I do wanna talk about that you'll see around the site today that are of interest. First over at the west outbound lot and the superchargers, also the end of line facility. A lot less cyber trucks than we saw on my Friday, Friday video. And that's because many of them have been shipped off site. And I think that's a great sign. And as you can see by some of the images that I've been showing you, there is a lot less to see, but there are still many more. And then if we take a look on the east side, the testing and calibration lot, we can see that it's a similar story over there as well. Now, of course, this is Monday, so the production is starting to gear back up after the weekend, and we'll see a lot more of them being produced here this week. Now, the boring tunnel also on the west side looks like they're continuing more preparations to begin that tunneling. I did see several crew at the drill head actually entering into the drill head, doing some additional work. So it looks like it's uh, pretty close, but I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Shifting gears going across the highway, taking a look at the south extension. A lot of the work is being done on the ground floor where we see not only those uh, excavations, there's about three of them and they're parallel about to mid, you know, midpoint throughout the uh, ground floor, but we also see some additional rebar work being done in that area as well. Also on the southwest corner, pretty much the entire steel structure has been assembled and it is butting up against the original uh, exterior wall on that southwest corner. Moving over to the east side of casting, we can see that section of ground that has had the concrete removed. They are continuing to install those screw type piers. There's about 70 of them right now that looks like it's about halfway. So they still have a lot more time to go to get all of those screw type piers in and prepare that section possibly for an extension for the casting machine structure. And finally, I take a look at that multi-level parking garage and we see that the progress continues, especially on the east side and that northeast corner. They're rapidly getting to a point where that structure will be completed. Nearby, that intersection for River Road and Robotic Avenue continues to be developed. More of the tree clearing and the preparation of the dirt uh, embankments to allow that uh, road to continue through that section. There's a lot more to see in the video today, and uh, we'll talk about those things as well throughout the video. As always, thank you very much for your support. I do very much appreciate it, and uh, have a great uh, week, and also good luck to Tesla with this last, last week of the first quarter of 2024. Take care. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. It's been a rainy day here at Giga Texas, uh, especially this morning. 
and uh, I was able to get uh, most of the video done uh, in between some of the rain showers. And we're going to start uh, uh, the video off here on the southwest corner. The area that used to be a parking lot is now being uh, reconfigured for more permanent parking lot. The trenching, the conduit, the preparation for lighting is well underway in this section now. Another area on the left-hand side of the screen getting ready for more of that conduit right now. And we see the steel corrugated pipes and other steel se segments for the extension of the south end of the building being stored here as well. As I get closer here towards this material staging yard, you can see some more superchargers in the bottom. In the uh, kind of middle of the screen, we can see those ventilation ducting that will be going onto the roof on the body in white. And that's where that large section of the roof has opened up. And I'll give you some views of that here later in the video. And also looks like there's a clearing with some dirt being uh, spread around in this section as well. So that's a new change. And of course, more of those items waiting for uh, installation inside of the factory. As we fly over the West Warehouse on Wheels, we'll approach into the Boring Company site where we continue to see crews doing uh, preparation work to begin the boring tunneling. I know I've had a lot of people ask, uh, why ha haven't they started yet? I don't know what is the delay, uh, but they are obviously taking their time to make sure everything is set up properly. The belt cassette on the left and the conveyor system in the middle of the screen are all set up uh, for the most part. Of course, that catchment basin, all of these trailers that are various control rooms, uh, uh, some offices and restrooms, and of course the Proof Rock 3 as well. And this is a good uh, scale look because of the humans that are next to the tunnel boring head. And in just a second, they will notice that there's a drone and they will give us a wave <laughs> to say hello. And uh, they're uh, preparing to enter inside the drill head through those openings. I'm not sure if they're doing some inspections, if there's an issue, or if they're just doing a final setup. As you can see, uh, they have uh, crawled inside. That also helps give you another sense of scale with uh, how large this uh, Proof Rock 3 uh, tunnel boring machine really is. Also, the pit, and uh, we saw in my previous video that underneath the boring uh, tunnel and uh, machine in that pit, they were doing some last minute welding and, of course, more of the items being set up. So, Continue to monitor this and hopefully we'll start seeing some activity here soon. Now, as we fly towards the north over this uh, uh, dirt section with some of the concrete uh, vault parts, we can get a sense of some of the south area getting ready for paving the superchargers. And of course, all of the cyber trucks we saw on my Friday video are almost all gone. There was a lot being stored on the left-hand side of the screen. All of those have been moved either to the outbound lot or picked up by transport vehicles and taken off-site. Uh, that uh, still says that uh, we have a lot more that uh, can be picked up. And you can see with the cyber trucks by these tents uh, doing some software updates. And I haven't really figured out the flow yet, but uh, they come over here, they get checked in, they do some of the supercharging, some other testing, and then they eventually end up over on the outbound lot. And you can see that there are many cyber trucks uh, waiting for pickup uh, as well in the outbound lot and intermixed with some of the Model Ys. Now, of course, Sunday, they do not do production of vehicles and they also do transports over the weekend. So it's natural that we see the number of vehicles drop here on the outbound lot and also on that east testing and calibration lot uh, over the weekend. And then as production comes back up on Monday morning, we'll start seeing more. But uh, this is a good view of the number of cyber trucks that are remaining here waiting for pickup and uh, how this operation looks today. the right of the screen with those uh, orange and white dividers, you can see the test track that is used uh, for testing of the new vehicles and more trench work on the bottom of the screen next to the uh, asphalt section and a new section of concrete has been poured 
uh, right at the bottom of the screen as well. It looks like crews are starting to prepare to remove the forms. A good look at the uh, turning around section of the test track on the bottom right, the north end of the end of line facility and where all the glass is, is a cafeteria that is being set up. And of course, some more of the doors for entry of the vehicles on the north end. And also on the east side, a lot of cyber trucks uh, being stored less than we saw on Friday, but uh, still quite a few uh, remaining here waiting for their opportunity to move to the outbound lot and then be picked up by the uh, trailer trucks and moved to the distribution points around Austin. But a really good view here on this side of how this particular uh, parking section for the Cybertrucks look like today. And of course, Giga Texas in the upper right, the background with the main entrance. You'll also note that this is spring here in uh, Texas. That means that we not only get a lot of rain, which you see, but also a lot of blue bonnets start uh, blooming around the state. And most of the time, they are around the uh, center medians of the highways. And you'll see that here as I bring the drone up and get ready to cross over the highway right in the middle of the uh, highway on that median. You can see all of those blue bonnets and that is the state flower for Texas as well. As I mentioned on Monday morning, they start gearing up production. You can see the Model Ys that are just newly produced and exiting the vehicle here in the end of line for the Model Ys. The look at the main entrance and all the rains have helped to clean that uh, stone glass trapezoid off of all of the dust and grime. So it looks pretty good right now. And then as we come across the road to take a look at the new receiving doors, it looks like uh, most of the... Uh, Doors, the load levelers, the threshold, and some of those bumpers have been installed. And of course, we had this large delivery of some of these red and gray items uh, coming into this section as well. So it kind of gives you an idea that this part of the factory and the inside, the reworks that they have done is nearing a completion. As we continue to fly along the west side towards the south, there's a couple of things that I do want to show you here. First, on the right-hand side of the screen, we can see there's about uh, five cyber trucks in this temporary holding lot. And what we've seen in the past is that uh, these are waiting some sort of parts. I'm not sure what the holdup is, but uh, it looks like uh, uh, this is just a holding point until the parts come in and then they can uh, complete the vehicles. On the left-hand side, we can see more deliveries on the ground uh, for these two temporary loading platforms. And of course, the new steel structure of the extension how it has been filled out completely on this side. It's butting up against the original southwest corner. And also the crane is gone. You can see the shoring on the bottom of the screen, but the crane itself is missing. We're down to one crane here. So that uh, uh, kind of gives you an idea that at least this portion of the factory is completed. And then this uh, other yellow crane will most likely be responsible for installing the steel for this center open section that we are flying over right now. On the bottom uh, center or the center of the screen on the left, you can see flashing uh, lights from a bunch of cyber trucks. They exit the factory there. They go through this little opening into the stamping two extension, and then they exit on the other side on that paved road next to that yellow crane. And then they go over to the east outbound lot or the east testing and calibration lot, I should be uh, specific on. As I pull back more, you can get a good sense of this new southwest corner, that open atrium area, and that uh, open section of the perimeter grade beam. And also, a lot of floor decking has been installed in that portion of the steel structure um, as well. On the ground floor here, I'll try to bring the drone down lower. You can uh, get a better view inside. We see not only the large trenches and some of the concrete, in fact, uh, one of the workers is cleaning off some of the mud from all the rain, but we also see 
more rebar being constructed on the ground here, some of it going into these large pits. There's another one on the left as well. And then more of the rebar being placed uh, around this section also. So it looks like the crews are concentrating on doing uh, preparation for it, maybe a ground slab in this section. As we pass the windows that have been installed here on the south side, we can see all of the uh, newly arrived or crated windows waiting for their opportunity to be installed. The tarps are covering the uh, suction cup uh, counterbalanced uh, beam that they use to uh, install the glass. And then here's a good view of the new steel structure on this portion of the building and on that perimeter grade beam. Some of the floor decking, some of the roof decking installed as well. And this has now reached the point where the structure is... Uh, proceeding towards these four new tanks, um, and it will continue along with this section to fully enclose all of these under one roof at some point in the near future. Here's a good look at the east side of the stamping machine structure, and then as I turn around, a look at the uh, roof, some of the solar panels, and uh, some of the other uh, work that's going on in the south end of the building to prepare for the connection of these two structures at some point in the near future. On the ground, we can see more work in that pit, and there's a good zoom in with the rebar and the crews preparing for this section to be completed here soon. Here's the open section of the roof that I mentioned earlier with all of those vents on the west side that will be brought and installed here over the opening. On the inside, you can see some of the scaffolding, some of those Evapco cooler units, and there was also a lot of manifolds, pumps, and uh, other devices that were installed in this section as well. Also, in the middle of the screen, I'm following along this uh, pipe. It's a kind of a gray pipe. You can see Two of the pipes here in the middle bending and going into the roof section here. The other one is proceeding from these 90 degree turns uh, and then starting to head towards that open section. This is just a continuation of what I showed on my last video at the very end. And this is just more of these pipes. These connect all the way up to the roof of the casting machine structure and then over to the new ventilation systems that were installed. So kind of interesting to see all of this new piping and the uh, racks that hold up the pipings all along the entire length of the building terminating in that new opening. The multi-level parking garage is definitely coming on, along and making progress. I'll bring down the drone a little lower here over these two ramps. You get to see some of the new concrete that has been poured. And then on this section, the rebar mesh and those double T panels waiting for all of this to be installed and concrete to be filled in to complete the roof section as well. Some more work being done on the ground near that uh, south end of the multi-level parking garage. As I fly over to this section, I just want to give you a good view of the road. Some of it is continuing through the trees on the right. And then the intersection here, which will be for River Road and Robotic Avenue coming together. And you'll be able to see on the left-hand side of the screen as the road continues between the two ponds and then over to that uh, concrete intersection that is already in place where River Road terminates currently. This is also a good view of some of the steel corrugated pipe waiting for installation, some of the other items that are being uh, stored here temporarily, including some of the blue water pipes. And of course, here is a good zoom in of how the multi-level parking garage looks as of today. The north uh, east corner is the final part of the building to be completed. It looks like uh, you know, about half of the eastbound portion of it is completed and most of the northbound. So that will be coming together and that will be the full extent of the multi-level parking garage. And we should see that probably by the end of next week at the rate that they are going. 
I'll bring the drone down here over some of the other concrete items waiting for installation on that multi-level parking garage. And then here at the uh, testing and calibration lot, uh, how this looks today. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, production is starting up. So you can see all of the Model Ys uh, doing the test track on the left. That test track will eventually be replaced with the one on the west side of the end of line facility that we saw earlier in the video. This also gives you a good view of just how few of the cyber trucks, relatively speaking, and the Model Ys on this testing and calibration lot right now. And that will continue to fill up and then more will be moved to the west side outbound lot. As I maneuver towards the far east section of the site, you can get a good view of the east warehouse on wheels, the dirt section on the left that continues to get some sort of uh, earthwork done, uh, maybe for future construction. And then this is the recycle yard where they recycle all kinds of materials, including stamping scraps. And on this trailer in the bottom left, you can see that they are actually recycling some of the rear hatches for the Model Ys. We also see further to the east, more of these large uh, workshops that have been put into place where they do uh, fabrication of a lot of steel, a lot of the pipes, many of those that we saw on the roof section that we were talking about earlier. And of course, a lot more of the materials that are stored in this section along with some more of the equipment. And it's a good view look back at the full length of Giga Texas, including the extension on the south end. More items that being stored on this far east section and the trailers you see in the upper center of the screen are the contractors that are building Giga Texas and all the various support agencies and structures around. We see a large section on the bottom left where recycling materials are being temporarily kept. There's also some more of the rubbish here with the concrete. And then in this section, we actually see some uh, equipment that's being prepped for recycling and also some of the Cybertruck bodies on the left. And as I continue to pan the drone over to the right and bring the drone up a little, you'll see some more Cybertruck bodies and also Model Y bodies along with other items that are being prepared for that recycling. So the work over here continues at least with some of the, I would presume, test items or items that have failed tests uh, for production. As we approach the east side of the battery cathode plant, a few things I wanna point out. In the bottom center of the screen, with the current rains that we've had, you can see some of the erosion on the berm here on this outlet channel. And that's one of the reasons why they've been doing so much work on the water detention pond that you can see here on the right with the control for erosion with some of the grass and some of the other items that they've placed along this. So I would expect to see a lot more of that because of that erosion that you can see. Next to the north end of the crash test facility, we can see several vehicles that have been crash tested being stored temporarily. Of course, the wade pit is full of water with all the rains and the cell testing and recycling lab. Uh, this area here looks pretty busy as well. As I fly across the north end of the uh, cathode building, this gives you a good view of how this section looks with the receiving docks being operational. Of course, the east side as well. And again, that uh, cell testing lab, that small steel structure on the left-hand side of the screen. As I continue to fly on the north end of the cathode plant, I'll bring the drone down slightly. This is a good view of the lift station here. And those three white boxes are part of the electrical system. And that looks to be operational now. Of course, the asphalt is only partially installed here on this side, but you can see the earthwork that is being done here to prepare for even more asphalt. And uh, the drainage here seems to be better since we don't have as much ponding as we've seen in the past. Some of the asphalt along the west side of the dye shop uh, looks uh, pretty clean now. And of course, they're going to be most likely putting some concrete along the rest of that uh, west side. More of the earthwork under preparation here at the bottom of the screen. Again, I think this is all going to be asphalt uh, once it is completed. 
The temporary shoot on this uh, temporary loading platform has been very busy as they've been doing more assembly of items on that uh, third floor inside. Also some trenching work that is going on here between the platform and the chiller plant. The chiller plant itself has been seeing a lot of activity with installation and testing of all the items. Uh, more pipes on that north end where the open section is. And of course, this new uh, temporary scaffolding along the wall. And I still don't see anything assembled yet, but uh, I would expect to see that that was installed for assembly of more items, possibly pipes or conduit. So something I'll continue to monitor. The four stainless steel tanks on the left have been installed, and it looks like there's at least a temporary scaffolding in between the uh, four of those uh, stainless steel tanks. As I fly around looking back towards Giga Texas and on top of the cathode building, I'm going to give you a good look at this south end of the dye shop. The glassed in closure is the entrance. They've been working on the doors and kind of the center of the screen. Of course, the ground is being prepared with geotextile membranes and fill dirt for either concrete or asphalt. And the Two parallel walls, these retaining walls, are part of the receiving door um, ramp that is being constructed right now. As we fly up over the intersection of Robotic Avenue and Tesla Road, and of course the overflow lot on the left, we see the very full east parking lot, and this is all employee vehicles. And with the amount of hiring that is going on, this is just not enough. That is why they're building that large multi-level parking garage. As we approach the east side of the main factory, uh, we're going to stop about midpoint, and there's a few things that I want to show you. One, take a look at all of the castings that you're going to see along the east side today. And there's just a lot of them, and almost every one that you see are for Cybertrucks. This section with the concrete apron is being prepared for concrete. That retaining wall has been installed, and they still have the enclosures to install on those receiving doors. Very similar to what we see here in these sections. And of course, more concrete is waiting to be installed on that apron section so that those receiving doors can become operational. Next to the towers, more work and uh, berm reshaping is being done. Of course, uh, some new dirt has been put in. Maybe they're going to be putting concrete in soon. And as I mentioned, take a look at all of the castings, some of them on the ground, some of them on rack mounts all throughout this section. And again, all of these appear to be Cybertruck castings. So there are thousands of them here. And that is another great sign, I believe, for production of the Cybertrucks. The open section of the concrete, all of this dirt, you can see those kind of stick sticking up out of the ground. There's one being picked up right now by that uh, um, uh, machine. Those are all screw type uh, piers. They're being installed into the holes that you see. I'll bring the drone down so you get a much better and closer view of the process. But essentially this is being done to strengthen and uh, prepare the soil for something uh, large, probably an extension of the building. That device has got one of those screw type piers right now. You can see the uh, kind of the drill head at the bottom and they place it into the uh, holes. And then that device uh, turns it to drill it into the ground to prepare for that uh, construction. Another good look at all the castings here along the east and also the northeast side of the casting machine structure. And uh, it's good to see that they're using a lot of the uh, rack mounts as well, although as you can see on the left, still some are being put onto the ground. As we wrap around the northeast corner to the north part of the factory, a few things to point out. Uh, one, a very large crate that has been delivered next to these rack mounts with more of the Cybertruck castings, some more of the railings uh, for the body and whites that have been delivered near the paint shop as well. And then here at the 4680 cell production portion of the factory where they are continuing uh, to build out for four more production lines. We can see that some of those wooden crates have been moved inside. Some other items are inside. And on top of the smaller uh, temporary platform, we see another wall panel has been removed. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to continue to remove more or what that will be. But anyway, that's a good look here for Monday. Um, and I appreciate your support. And I hope you enjoyed what we were able to see and talk about. Have a great week.